welcome to my channel. So if you don't know, I am pregnant and this is going to be my sixth pregnancy update from 24 to 28 weeks. I don't know why I keep wanting to say 24 to 48. Thank goodness nobody is going to be pregnant for 48 weeks. Um, I have my little list here that I will talk about because I have major pregnancy brain at this point. I'm actually filming this at like 31 weeks. So I write down all my stuff in my journal and I actually haven't journaled everything. I've had it on paper and just in memory. So, um, 24 to 28 weeks has not been drastically different. Honestly, from 20 weeks on, I've felt really good. And there's been a few things where I'm like, huh, like that was a weird feeling or, you know, but nothing huge. And actually in the beginning of my pregnancy, I'd always bring a clipboard with a list of questions for my midwives. And at this point, P and I are like, we just go to appointments to check on the baby because we feel like we have no questions. So <laughs> that feels really good. Um, feels like we're getting the hang of this whole thing. And like I said, I feel good. My energy is pretty good. Like, yeah, I nap. Um, sometimes, like, I don't sleep that well anymore. But that doesn't go in 24 to 28 weeks. Um, well, some of it does. But now that the baby's getting bigger, it's a lot harder to sleep. And I'm having a lot more, like, soreness in my body. Um, I'm still not swollen. Like, yeah, when I'm on my feet all day, like, cleaning and doing everything and not napping or relaxing at all. At the end of the night, I'll, like, look down and be like, oh, my ankles, like, look a little bit cankily. But it's not like anybody on public would be like, whoa, her ankles are swollen. It's just, like, I can tell. And if I show P, he could tell. Um, so that's been pretty good. I'm thankful that I don't have a lot of swelling. I'm thankful that my appetite's back. Um, that I haven't been sick. Like, randomly, I'll get nauseous. Sometimes it's, like, random smells. Like, a candle that I was so sick of in the beginning of my pregnancy is still in this apartment. I wanted it gone, but P wouldn't get rid of it because he's like, it's brand new. So he like hid it, but every time I open the cupboard where it's hiding, I'm always like, Bleh. my gosh, I can't handle it. <laughs> or like certain foods that like, I don't know, gross me out, still are grossing me out, and I'll think about them and be like, um, or if I go past my hunger point, I will get sick. But honestly, my appetite has actually not been like, I'll eat a lot, but I haven't been starving all the time. Like, I feel like in the beginning of pregnancy, it was kind of like, well, I was so sick that I wasn't. But, like, once I got past 20 weeks, it was like, oh, I want a snack. I want a snack. I'm always hungry. I want a snack. I want a snack. So, at this point, it's more like, oh, I eat a good breakfast. And then a few hours later, I'm like, oh, I'm a little bit hungry. I eat some lunch, and I can usually hold out till dinner. Um, so, sometimes I go four to six hours without eating which isn't that great, but as long as you're drinking water and like you don't feel hungry, sometimes I'll go in and like have like a handful of chips with cheese or like, um, I try not to do bars or like too many snacking things. We had bars um, in our house just because we were getting prepared for the birth center and then I actually ate them before, so. Um, so at the appointment, we did our gestational diabetes test which, amen, I do not have it. I thought, so we got the drink and they told me to refrigerate it, that it's better refrigerated. So I refrigerated it, it was lemon-lime, and I kept hearing how awful that drink is. And just in general, I know there's different flavors, but everybody was like, oh, it's so disgusting, and like, that's the worst part, and da-da-da-da. So I was like, oh my gosh, I was like really nervous about it. And like, guys, the hype, it's too much on it. It's not that bad. Um, do I, would I like want to drink it again? No, like I'm not sitting here being like, I really wish I had that lemon lime gestational diabetes drink. But I was not as grossed out on it as I thought I would be. It just tasted like a flat Sprite. Like I don't, we don't even drink soda anymore. So the closest thing I could compare it to is a flat Sprite, like with no carbonation, just like the sugary part. Um, so I drank that on our way because it takes us a little bit to get there. And... <laughs> By the time we, like, when I drank it, I was like, oh, this is not bad. I took it down in five gulps because you have to, like, I think I did six. I, like, P and I had a bet on how many, how long it would take me to drink it. But you can only drink it within ten minutes. Like, you have to drink it within a ten, 
minute window. So I think it's 10 minute or 20 minute. I can't remember. Read the directions. Listen to your doctor. Don't listen to me. Um, <laughs> but I drank it on the way and I was like, oh, that's totally fine. And then as we were like getting closer, I was like, okay, I'm not feeling good. <laughs> so I had a protein breakfast. I had just eggs and cheese. And then um, you can have water. So I was drinking lots of water, but I was like, I started to feel so sick and I was like, oh my gosh, I think I'm going to vomit. But I kept like, he's like, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. And like when we got to the birth center, thank goodness it was like crazy busy. And I saw like other moms from our birth class. So that kind of helped distract me. But I was literally like sitting there like, like, I don't feel good. Don't throw up. It's okay. Um, so then when they went to take my blood, um, I had said, like, I do not feel good. And she was like, that's probably a good thing. Because I thought, oh, my gosh, if I don't feel good, like, is that good? Is that bad? Like, because everyone else was like, no, I didn't get sick. That was in there that did their gestational test, which I don't know if they have it or not. So he was like, you never know. They could have not gotten sick and they might have gestational diabetes. Like, who knows? So my midwife was like, it's probably a good thing because that means you don't consume that much sugar. So your body's, like, tripping out right now. Like, look, that was disgusting. I want it out. So... They did my blood test and I don't like getting blood drawn. I don't like needles really. Shots I've become pretty okay with. But blood draws are always like, I had like really bad experiences. But thank goodness our midwives are always good. So I was like, okay, it's fine. Um, I gotta grab the camera charger. So the point of the story, I don't love blood draws. But our midwives are always so good that I wasn't worried about it. So I was like, okay, no problem. Like, him P like, always, like, supports me. Like, he'll usually hold my hand. But we were in, like, a different... We were in, like, the birthing room, so there wasn't really space. So he just, like, sat across from me. And, like, you can do this. So as it's going, like, I used to have really good veins. Um, and I don't know if they'll come back after pregnancy, but my veins are, like, M-I-A... Um, I don't know if that's normal or not, but I never really noticed it until this blood draw. I was like, oh my gosh, I used to have like two or three that were like really good in my arms. And she was like, oh, I'm going to try this one over here. So when she started going, I was like, oh, like that hurts. But, you know, nothing out of the ordinary. ordinary. And then she's like, um, your vein is collapsing. Let me see if I could get enough out of it. It started hurting so bad, I started to get, like, tingly and, like, okay, don't pass out. So she got, like, enough blood, like, just enough. Thank goodness, like, she knows what she's doing, just experienced. So my vein, like, didn't collapse all the way. It still gave enough. And, but after that, I, like, felt horrible, like, vomiting because of the gestational drink. And then that happened, so I started to feel, like, really negative, And it hurt, like, I could barely, like, move my arm. And I thought it was going to be so bruised the next day, and it actually wasn't. That's why I'm like, they're phenomenal. But I did not like it. So that kind of set, like, a bad tone. And I was like, oh, no, like, that's not good. Why did my vein collapse? I probably have gestational. My body's not, I don't know. Like, I started to feel like, oh, my gosh, like, questioning my body, which I shouldn't have done. But so then I was patiently waiting for my numbers. And, um... Our midwife had actually called me and been like, I saw in your Insta stories you said you didn't get your numbers back. Like, we usually don't send them unless they're bad. So, she's like, you're good and your iron is good. Because I was worried. I haven't taken my iron pills since, like, the beginning of my pregnancy. And I thought, like, maybe my iron would be bad. But my iron was good. Um, so, I think my number was 125. And I think the cutoff is 135. So, she said, like, just walk a little more after you eat. Um, and then we still, like, try to, like, control our diet a little bit because we don't eat that many carbs typically, but, yeah, I had been eating a lot of beans. Like, when we left the appointment, we were like, what am I eating? Like, what's going on? Because I had gained, um, like, a high number of weight, like, more than, it was a big jump from my normal, like, gaining weights every four weeks. So since it was a big jump, she was worried and they thought maybe they were going to have to do a growth ultrasound because the baby size and my uterus was measuring almost three weeks ahead. So it was kind of like, I don't want to say a negative appointment because everything was fine, but it was kind of like we left and I like cried and I was like, I felt bad. I felt like I wasn't doing a good job and that like 
I don't know, like I just felt like I failed like the baby and I was failing myself and P as well. So I was just like, oh, and he was like, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. So um, I had gained 31.5 pounds at that appointment. Total my pregnancy, not like in four weeks. That would be cray. <laughs> um, so I was kind of upset with myself and then when we got in the car, we were like, what am I eating? I was eating like a ton. All I wanted was like black beans, cheese, and quinoa, which is super healthy because I make it all at home. But the fact of the matter is beans are full of carbs. So we cut that. I stopped making beans and I just have them like if somebody has them or if they're like our baby shower, we had Mexican food. So um, I was really craving beans through that four weeks. Um, I was measuring 31 almost 31 weeks and I was only 28 so they were kind of concerned um because every single time I've been measuring two weeks ahead not three so um and then the baby's heartbeat was the typical 130 um beats per minute per minute um they told me just up my water and up my walks and then also to take calcium magnesium and d3 um I had gotten d3 drops and I tried doing those I don't know I put them in my water and I just did not like it. I don't know. I thought that like if I took like a small glass of water and put it in there, it like floated to the top. It was like oil and water. It grossed me out. It tasted gross. I don't know. And I got like a really good quality one. So I'm saving the liquid drops for the baby. I'm like that's fine because they're going to need it anyways. And um, you know because when you're breastfeeding vitamin D doesn't go through your milk. And most people are low on vitamin D. Um, the other thing that I dealt with a lot, I started going to the chiropractor because I was having really bad issues with like my sciatic. Like I was literally at one point like dragging my leg. Like I can't even move almost in tears. Like I couldn't sleep. I was like flinching. So I'd started going to the chiropractor and that did help, but it was just like one muscle that he was telling me was locked up. So I would have to have P like massage it so I could even move. Um, so it was a rough like three days but overall we've been really good um like I said I'm still like dropping to the floor to pick stuff up like hanging out on the yoga ball that's been one of my favorite things to do um the baby is moving so much I in my next pregnancy update will include a video of the baby moving because closer to the end you can see it a lot more from the outside like before you could feel it a lot and the baby's getting hiccups they started getting hiccups at like 26 weeks, maybe even earlier. I kind of didn't know what it was at first, and I was like, it's weird. Like, it's so soft compared to how this baby moves. Like, it's so weird. It's soft. And then finally, when I started realizing it, I was like, oh, the baby has hiccups. So sometimes that keeps me up at night, and sometimes that gets frustrating because I'll, like, wake up and be like, ugh. Like, I feel bad for the baby, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm freaking exhausted. <laughs> so... That's been a little bit tough. Um, I still only get up maybe one time in the middle of the night to go pee. I stay up pretty late because pee goes to work late and um, I just, I like, I don't know. I just need to get stuff done. I'm still going, going, going. I wouldn't say I was nesting yet in that stage per se and I wouldn't say I'm really nesting right now. Like... I don't know, I just feel like that's always me, like, organizing and cleaning and, like, trying to get stuff done and make it look better. So maybe I am and I just don't know it. Um, and then, of course, in the 24 to 28 weeks, we hadn't had our baby shower yet. So I'm going to do a separate video talking about our baby shower, showing you, like, gifts and stuff that we have. A lot of people want to see our gifts, um, which is totally fine. And we did get a lot of amazing gifts. We're so thankful. But we bought a lot of stuff ourselves because we don't want people to buy it for us. It seemed like a lot and we just felt like guilty. We didn't want people to do that. So um, I'll show you like what we have. It's all laid out right now. Um, my grandparents are coming over. They wanted to see. Um, they left before the presents so they wanted to see. So I just have everything laid out because P's working on the dresser and and yeah. Um so I'll do a video, um, maybe I'll film that today. I'll do a video of like all the stuff we got for our baby shower, talking about our baby shower, like tips, things that we loved, things that could have gone differently or should have gone differently maybe. Um, yeah, 
Just trying to make sure I didn't miss talking about anything from that point. But I'm going to end it here. If you want to see my other pregnancy updates, um, I'll have them in the same folder and I can link them down below. I think this is my favorite sixth one so I'll have one through six or one through five linked down below. I will also um, put my maternity minimalistic maternity must-haves down below because that's another video that I filmed talking about like your basic all you need for being pregnant um, because I think sometimes a lot of people can drop a lot of money on that and it's not necessary. So Thank you so much for watching. Please like if you like this video. Let me know down below how you're doing if you're pregnant or if you're curious about pregnancy and have questions, let me know. Um, please subscribe so you don't miss us. Um, if you're on Instagram, go check me out on Instagram. I try to post like one to three times a week and I'm really active on Insta stories so you can check us out there. Um, but again, thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.